Hello, YouTube community. It's Robert S. and welcome back to Robscure Music, where I hope to introduce you or reacquaint you with lesser known artists and or albums that are out there in the musical universe. So today I wanted to talk to you about an American singer-songwriter named Katie Shaw. She was born Catherine Elizabeth Shaw on April 2nd, 1991 in Virginia Beach, Virginia. She moved to Brooklyn, New York in 2010 and attended the School of Visual Arts where she was studying painting. However, she ran into financial difficulties and she needed to drop out of school. So she began uh, busking, you know, um, singing in the subway to earn some money for food and rent. And it was there that she was discovered by Jay Levine, who would become her producer. And Jay, uh, back in the 90s, was the bassist for a group called the Philosopher Kings. It was a Canadian band that uh, had won some uh, Juno Awards, I believe. So, you know, he, he had done fairly well for, uh, in, in terms of making a name for himself in the music world. Anyway, he and Katie got together and in 2013, she released her first EP called Clouds. It was a five song EP and, um, some of the, the highlights on that EP, in my opinion, are the song Clouds. And she had a song called uh, Family, which is, is um, a very good song. And uh, what else? Oh, a song called Ketchup and another song called Mango. And Mango is a lot of fun. And these are all sort of, you know, lightweight uh, ditties, if you will. And, um, you know, she's got sort of a... I don't know how to describe her voice. It's it's somewhat delicate, fairy-like. Um, she does, it's a little quirky, and she doesn't always enunciate. I'm, I'm guilty of that myself sometimes. But um, when you hear the songs, you, you'll, you might see what I mean. And I, and I will play some of her songs later on so you get an idea of what her music sounds like. But anyway, getting back to um, this EP and, uh, you know, so 2013, she released this and, and it's a good start. In 2014, she releases the Brooklyn EP. And this is where she gets recognized. There's a song that she releases as a single called Brooklyn Girls. And... The song goes viral on, on YouTube and it gets her recognized, but not necessarily all in a good way. The song is widely criticized for its um, stereotypical portrayal of Brooklyn. And, and you have to remember now that this is coming from somebody who didn't grow up in Brooklyn. You know, she lived in Virginia and she moved to Brooklyn in 2010. And then 2014, she's coming out with a song about Brooklyn girls. Um, it, it became widely hated, particularly by Bro by girls in Brooklyn. <laughs> and at one point, I think Entertainment Weekly may have called it the most hated song on the internet um, at, for that year, I guess. And... Um, in fact, uh, I think the song was at one point called the anthem that nobody asked for. And um, it was, it was, there was so much hate that she actually received some online death threats as well. But that song aside, and I think it's a good song. And I think, you know, for the most part, people outside of Brooklyn probably enjoyed it more than people in Brooklyn. But there are, it's a six song EP, and there are five other terrific songs, and, and each one of them is, is good. Uh, I do want to highlight some of them here. 
But so in addition to the, um, the song Brooklyn Girls, there are several other fantastic songs. In fact, every song I think on this EP is fantastic. One of them is called Human Contact. And what a great song this is. It's, it's very upbeat and she does a video and in the video, it, it's, it's just so much fun to watch. She is handling a croquet mallet. Um, she's curling her hair with bananas. She's blending some fruits and maybe some vegetables. She is dancing in a hoodie that has a tropical floral theme that exactly matches the wall behind her uh, and combat boots. And I think that might be all she's wearing. Um, and it's just, I mean, you have to see it to understand what I'm saying. It's, it's just such a quirky and fun video, but a word of warning, uh, this song and a couple of her other songs do include some cursing. So listen with caution and keep the little ones out of the room when you are listening, if you're so inclined. Uh, another standout on that album is a song called Run, Run, Run. And this is a song about a 21-year-old girl who is broke. She's living paycheck to paycheck, and she's, you know, up to her ears and in debt, basically. And in the song, she's, uh, she's basically saying, you know, that, that debt collectors are coming for her. If she sees her landlord, she's going to run, 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 because she can't pay the rent. But despite that, she's still looking, trying to look at things with a positive spin, you know, and I, I just want to read some of the, the, the lyrics. You know, she says, for example, that her possessions aren't secondhand, they're vintage. And up on the roof is her planetarium. The fire escape is her terrace. And if you squint your eyes, it looks like Paris. And, um, you know, she's, she's trying to live this life of, of a, a poor person, but she wants it to be done with, <laughs> with style and grace, if you will. Um, then there's another song called uh, Night Goes Slow. And this is a tender love song about two, uh, two girls who are in love. And, you know, in the video, one of the girl's parents obviously are not, you know, they're, they're upset by that. Um, and Katie herself has come out as bisexual. And she said, in fact, that her sexuality actually helps her with her writing. And um, this is, you know, again, it's, it's, it's a love song, basically, to, um, to two girls in love. Um, another love song that she includes on here is um, a song called Show Up. And this one is basically about a relationship where the other party in this relationship is somebody who apparently can't seem to finish anything. And she wonders, you know, will they finish this, or no, I shouldn't say finish it. Will they put enough effort into the relationship to make it work? You know, and here again, I just want to share some of the, the lyrics. She says, for example, you know, are you going to run a marathon and not cross the finish line? Drive up to Sonoma and not take a sip of wine? Are you going to read the mystery novel and not find out how it ends? Prepare for the party and not even attend. Well, the work has been done. The only question is, are you going to come? Are you going to show up for the for this love, or are you going to let it go? And it's it's a it's a brilliant EP. Um, and then in in twenty that was in twenty fourteen. So in twenty sixteen, she releases another EP, and this is a five song set called The Ransom. And again, it's got some good songs on it. The Ransom is is a good song. Uh, she releases, um, tell, uh, what's it called? Tell Me Everything. 
Uh, there's a song called um, Love Sick Jerk that's on it. And, um, you know, again, it's it's a it's a five songs EP. She hasn't released any actual, actual albums or, or LPs. Um, she has released uh, some singles and she did a, a duet or two. I believe she collaborated with um, a couple different artists, but one of them in 2018 was Cheyenne Jackson, who is a um, singer and also an actor. And he's appeared on a couple of different TV shows. He's been on Broadway. He's, he's, I know he's been understudy for uh, a number of different uh, plays. And uh, they do a song called Plans, which is a holiday song, but it's, it's very upbeat, a little bit more adult or mature, if, if you will, than her other songs. But again, it, it's, it's a fun, upbeat song. And then more recently, in 2021, she released her version of the um, song Come Fly With Me, which is the classic 1958, I believe, song that was done by Frank Sinatra. And her version is a more modern take on it. And again, it's a lot of fun. So take a listen to some of her music um, that I'm going to share with you now. And I'll see you on the other side. Smile for a familiar face And the roof that I'm standing on Feels like an airplane City streets below me moving far away What I wouldn't give to be there now I find my way to you somehow So give me a blanket for my cold Something you hate And now you wanna argue Wanna tell me everything that's wrong But I'm so distracted Cause I'm playing my favorite song Ooh, ooh, doesn't matter Ooh, ooh, we're together Ooh, ooh, doesn't matter, no If you just shut that pretty mouth We'll forget what the fight's about And come on, just let me turn you out With human
clock can't find no work I'm only 21 The shit they sold must be a joke Out here it ain't no fun I'm 21, I'm 21 I want to go back home but I can't go, my mom foreclosed I guess I'll run, run, run I got da 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 up to my neck da da collectors making me sweat Paycheck to paycheck, that credit Impossible for me to pay my rent da 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 up to my neck da da collectors making me sweat Paycheck to paycheck, that credit Impossible for me to pay my rent See the landlord, I'ma run, run, run I'm just 21 Trying to find a way to have a little fun Just wanna dance till the morning sun If I see the landlord, I'ma run, run, run See the landlord, I'ma run, run, run Drive out to Sonoma And I take a sip of wine Are you gonna read the mystery novel? And I'd find out how it ends Prepare for the party And not even attend All the work has been done Only question is, are you gonna come? Are you gonna show up for this love? Or are you gonna let it go? Tell me, are you gonna show? Are you gonna show up for this love? Or are you gonna let it go? Tell me, are you gonna show? Are you gonna graduate from law school and never take the bar? Fix up an old Mustang and never drive the car. Are you gonna plant yourself a garden and never pick what you have grown? You're gonna waste all of that beauty just to spend your nights alone.
just say the word and we'll beat the birds down to Acapulco Bay. It's perfect for a flying honeymoon, they say. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. So that's Katie Shaw, and I hope you enjoyed this music. Um, again, I didn't have any physical media to show you because honestly, everything I have by her are music downloads that I have. So I would encourage you, if you like her music, to go out and, and, and purchase it, you know, get those downloads. I know some of you may not like uh, not having physical media, but make 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 an exception if you will this time uh anyway so that's it um stay well friends and remember if the music strikes a chord let it play <laughs>